In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to insert text frames and image frames inside a border. So first of all, we need to click on the shapes button and we will insert ourselves a border. Now, as you can see, it's opened with the black insert. Now we can change this. We right click choose properties click on to colors fill color which is the bucket and we click none so we now have no color inside this border I'm going to change the border color so I'm going to click on the line color and I'm going to click on blue I now want to make the line thicker so it's easier for us to see what's happening so I click on the line tool increase the points and that'll do um, you can also have beveled or round corners and if it's a single line you can have different endings okay that will do us for the border now once you've set up a border you can obviously move it around the screen to where you want and is all you need to do we'll click on the insert image tool and we can put an image in this area we will then put a few text boxes in we can put one there and we will put another there okay we can now go ahead and insert an image into the picture frame and I've shown you how to do this before but it's the same we click on get image and then you just find the image that you want to use and click open and the image goes inside the frame but again it's not fitting so we right click we choose properties we choose image and scale to fit size and the image fits inside the frame so we have now set an image inside our border frame we now want to enter some text so we select choose the text editor I've got some text already available on the clipboard which is a name I'm going to centerize it I'm going to increase the size to around 30 points I'm going to change the style the font rather to italic and I'm going to change the color to blue because that's what the rest is I'll click the update button and we now have a name I will click close and exit is all we need to do now is to enter some text into the main text area so it's we select the text frame and open the editor and again I already have some text on the clipboard so I am just going to paste my text in and I will click the update button and the text appears in the main body of the document we can now do some formatting on this text um, I'm going to edit select all and choose italic and we can see we'll click the update button that looks a little better um, I think we need an S in there and update and save and exit I'm going to move this down and I'm going to use this thing up here called the style menu and I'm going to put some shadow on for white um, I'm now going to click on file and print preview 
and as you can see there is a leaflet designed in hardly any time at all um, that needs to be a capital S and is what I could do I could just make this um, bold there you go um, so really it's just to give you an idea of what can be done If you were going to design leaflets or newsletters or brochures, you could use one of these borders. The only thing, when you move this border, the frames are not locked to it, as you can see. But it's very easy to design all different types of documents using the Scriber software. I think that's about all you need to know to get to grips with it and you should now be able to get started and design some decent looking documents of your own. So that's it for this tutorial.